Hello, and welcome to a brief tour of LIDA. I'm Steve Strain, a researcher with a cognitive computing research group at the University of Memphis, also known as CCRG. In this series of short videos, you'll get a condensed overview of the LIDA model of cognition. A more detailed understanding is contained in our papers, which can be found at our website, ccrg.cs.memphis.edu. At CCRG, we are chiefly concerned with the scientific investigation of a single question. How do minds work? In other words, how is it that they do what they do? And importantly, what is it exactly that they do? The study of mind began thousands of years ago. So much has been written that it'd be impossible for one person to read it all. Let's look at some highlights. In the modern era, philosophers such as David Hume and Immanuel Kant began formalizing ideas about the mind in a branch of philosophy known as epistemology. Today, phenomenology and philosophy of mind are examples of branches that continue to contribute ideas about mind. Given the role of the mind in behavior, 19th century biologists, including Charles Darwin and Thomas Huxley, began chiming in on the subject, especially with regards to emotions and instincts. Biology continues to have input into the study of mind by way of the 20th century disciplines of ethology, and systems biology, among others. Psychologists such as Wilhelm Wundt and William James laid groundwork for the experimental and clinical study of the human mind. Behaviorism and cognitive psychology are examples of important 20th century schools that have influenced the development of this field. Physiologists such as Charles Sherrington, Alan Hodgkin, and Andrew Huxley established the foundations of modern neuroscience. And while even today our understanding of the brain has far to go, modern techniques for recording and analyzing brain activity have produced an explosion of insight into the workings of biological minds. John von Neumann and Norbert Wiener were among those who foreshadowed the computer's potential for investigating and understanding mind, giving rise to applications including artificial intelligence, artificial neural networks, machine learning, and many others. While such a brief review cannot begin to do justice to the scientific pro progress contained in all these fields, it serves to indicate that while each of these has had much to say about our subject, at the present time they have failed to converge on even a consensual definition of mind. In the scientific study of anything, it's important to define the focus of study as well as the objects of study. But given that, what are the appropriate boundaries for a scientific study of mind? In our next video, we'll talk about how the LIDA model approaches this question. We'll see that LIDA's definition of mind hinges on the idea of an autonomous agent, as defined in the 1997 paper of Stan Franklin and Art Gracer entitled, Is it an agent or just a program? A taxonomy for autonomous agents. This paper can be found on the CCRG website. Once we've reviewed this definition, will assert the foundation of the LIDA approach. Minds are control structures for autonomous agents. Thanks for listening. For a continued discussion of these and other questions, see you in the next video.